Hey, hey, everybody, what's good? Another match set for Bound for Glory 2019. Let's go. Hey, hey, what's good? It is your boy BQ. Welcome to the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fans. So the number one channel you must subscribe to. As widely expected, Marafuji has accepted the challenge of Michael Elgin at Bound for Glory. Elgin laid out the challenge you know, with a pretty good promo this past episode of Impact. And then he cut a really good promo days later saying, see, that's what kind of guy I am, what kind of guy he is. If somebody challenged me, I would have answered right away. Where's Marafuji? So I thought he did a really good job with that. But I, I really caution Impact to stay away from cutting these promos in Mexico. I do like the Mexico tapings. And when people say the crowd is dead and stuff, I don't hear that. I hear a, I hear a louder audience when I'm watching these shows. So I, I don't know where people are getting that from. But they do respond differently to different things. However, cutting an English promo in the middle of the ring, I don't think is ever a smart idea. In Mexico, you have to know your audience. And you have to book based on that audience and cut promos based on that audience. Mexico is not necessarily a country where everybody speaks English, even, even in Mexico City. So I just think it's a very easy way to put the crowd to sleep. When they do record in Mexico, I think it has to be very action heavy, very fast paced, and then booked based on their stars. Do not book your baby faces against their heels because your baby faces are gonna get booed. So take advantage of their baby faces with your heels. I just really caution them from cutting these promos because you didn't get that reaction out of the crowd that you know you wanted. Because number one, you're expecting the Mexican fans to be familiar with the Impact product. Now you're expecting them to be familiar with the Noah product. I would be pretty confident saying that most the uh, fans in that arena did not know who Marafuji was. So I think a really good promo was kind of cut um, in the wrong place. There was no reason for it to be cut in Mexico. They might as well have just done it all in Vegas. This being said, I've seen Marafuji's lone performance in the United States. Locally here, here he wrestled Donovan Dijak. I said this then, and I say it now, and I mean it. It's the best match I have ever seen in person, and I'm not a Donovan, Donovan Dijak fan or whatever his name is now. Never have been, but that match was the best I had ever seen in person in my life. This guy can really go. Now, the problem when he was on Impact before is they didn't let him go. He had a match with Eddie Edwards, and then there was like a six-man tag that he was involved in, and every time he got tagged in, he was getting his butt kicked, and he didn't do anything. So I don't know if that was, you know, purposely... But, you know, he showed his he showed himself pretty well in Slam Reversary when he made that appearance. But I don't think we really got to see on Impact Television what he can do because he is excellent. He's really good. And then Michael Elgin, excuse me, Michael Elgin's been killing everything he's doing. He's been like perfection since joining Impact Wrestling, in my opinion. But we're four matches in. Three of them have been booked with no build whatsoever. And then the main event has had build, but Brian Cage has been an absent champion. So right now... The build for, I mean, half the half the card has been announced, and it's super lackluster in that sense. So we got to hope that these next four um, have a much, much better build when they start taping in Vegas. So we got one more episode in Mexico. I have a feeling they're going to book another match um, after that, which is going to leave three for the uh, for the tapings in Vegas. So the build is, has not been good. The Bound for Glory build is never good. It, it really, really never is. The uh, Slammiversary build is always excellent. Even in the, the waning days of Dixie Carter, the build the build for Slammiversary was good. But the Bound for Glory build every year is fucking awful. That being said, with the four that have been announced so far, I would say this has the potential to be the match of the night. I think it's still going to be one of the top two matches. Whatever, doesn't matter whatever the other three or four they announce are. This one, I, I guarantee you, is going to be a show stealer. It's something you want to get excited about. Even though the dirt sheets aren't excited about it, here we are. The match was... So when Mar Marafuji was announced for Bound for Glory, not one dirt sheet picked it up. And then when this match was announced against Elgin, here we are 24, later, 24 hours later, not one website is running it. Not one. And that's not necessarily on the dirt sheets. That's on Impact 
needing to put a little more importance on sending out press releases and making sure they're building relationships with these websites and getting that news out instead of relying on social media letting us know everything letting us know all the news more people should be familiar when you do it on social media you're just letting the impact fans who already watch the product know what's going on how are we going to start reaching other people it is time to do that and to get them interested in what bfg could be talk to you guys soon thanks for checking in impact lounge i'm out peace